Welcome back everybody. Now, today we're going to be doing the video on the top 10 places to visit in Germany. I'm pretty excited to get into this, especially when you look at the landscape that's in the background back here. I mean, how can you hate it? You know what I mean? How can you hate it? Uh, this video is by Ryan Shirley. We've done a few of his on the channel already. He does great work. He explains everything properly and he showcases amazing places to see. So without further ado, let's, uh, let's go ahead and hop into the video. What's up guys? What's my up, name is Ryan Shirley and I want to show you oh some of my, my favorite places in the enchanting country of Germany. So here's my Germany top 10. I love this video, Germany man. Germany is home to some of the world's most stunning landscapes from endless castles, medieval towns straight out of a fairy tale, and the towering Bavarian Alps. Germany has so much so to offer. Beautiful. Let's start this video off in the magical village of Rottenburg. Now when you go to Rottenburg, you'll feel like you're walking in a fantasy movie. It's one of the most preserved medieval old- I, I kind of feel like I'm in the wizarding world of Harry Potter right now. I don't remember the name of the, the little town that's outside of Hogwarts. I don't remember the name of it, I, I apologize, but you know how they like, they walk across that bridge and you just walk in and it looks like this, you know I mean? I just, I love the, 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 the architecture of European landscapes and just, it's just gorgeous. Towns it's just gorgeous. all of Europe. During the Middle Ages, Rottenburg thrived as it was located at the crossroads of European trade routes. At the beginning of the 15th century, it rose to becoming the second largest city in all of Germany. But during the 17th century, Rottenburg faced adversities such as the Thirty Year War and the Bubonic Plague. Without much resources, Rottenburg's growth was halted, which aided in keeping the town preserved in its medieval state. Today, Rottenburg so. maintains its medieval charm and its been the inspiration Look for that, sets of Disney movies such as Pinocchio. If you go, you can check out the famous Cloning Corner or witness the beautiful Christmas markets. I mean, it's just hard to beat the allure of this German village. 100% From agree. Rottenburg, that you can make gorgeous. the three-hour drive to the beautiful city of Munich, also known as Bavaria's capital. Munich is located in the south of Germany, about 50 kilometers from the Alps. During World War II, Munich was heavily bombed by over 70 air raids, but today the city is restored to its former beauty. One of the most popular spots is the Marienplatz. And you know, I, I, I understand that war is war, but man, I hate when they just destroy the the history of it, you know what I mean? But I'm glad they're able to restore it back to its its former glory. Square, you'll find the new town hall with its stunning clock tower and historical figurines. After exploring Munich, uh, we're going to head to the Alps to visit Berchtesgaden. I'm, now, I'm, I have I'm to home. say this may be one of the beautiful home. towns in all of Germany. It's, so it's just a two hours drive from Munich and it's nestled in the Bavarian Alps. One of my favorite features of the town is the Watzmann Mountain. It has these uniquely shaped peaks that tower over the town. It almost looks like someone took a bite out of it. There's so many beautiful churches around Berchtesgaden to explore, such as the Maria Gern Church, which offers a perfect view of the Watzmann Peaks. Just south of the town just... is where Hitler's former Eagle's Nest Retreat is located. It's now a restaurant with unbelievable views. The area is full of stunning alpine lakes, such as Hintersee, which offers just incredible oh, views. You can also visit the Berchtesgaden National Park and explore all its hidden treasures. I mean, the whole area is just pure paradise. Oh my gosh. Now, after, we're going to visit Lake Constance. Now, it's this massive lake that's not only in Germany, but also borders Austria and Switzerland. I remember I was hiking in the mountains of Appenzell, Switzerland, and I can see the lake from where I was at, which is huge. Now, it's the second largest lake in all of Europe by volume. Now, one scenic place on the lake is this town called Lindau. Now, what makes it so unique is that it's this island now it was first mentioned by a monk in the 9th century and during medieval times it became quite the fortified city today it's a popular place to visit i just love the harbor and just the fact that it's an island i mean just such a cool place so another picturesque city on lake constant is Mearsburg. it's located right on the shores and it's a historical town lined with beautiful colored houses I and mean, i just can't think of a better place to go during a warm German summer. Oh. After we're going to visit the Hohenzollern Castle. Now I have to say this is one of the most impressive castles. Look at that! I mean, it is just lands and hills and mountains. And right at the top of this peak with all the trees, you got a castle. That's just awesome. Oh, I love it. All Germany. 
It sits perfectly on Mount Hosalon and can be seen from miles away. Hosalon is the last of three castles that was built upon this hill. It was completed in 1867 as a memorial to the Prussian royal family. Today, it's one of Germany's most visited castles, and I understand why. Yeah, Another standing castle in Germany is the Kohan Castle. The original castle was built back in the 1100s, and it made its money by collecting shipping tolls on passing ships down the river. Sadly, it was destroyed in 16. 89 by the French, but in 1868, a wealthy businessman from Berlin decided to rebuild the castle ruins. Today, it stands perched on a hill overlooking the beautiful town of Kohem, the Moselle River. Another stunning castle just 30 minutes away is the Elts Castle. It's a popular place to get that classic Instagram picture. So if you're in the area, you gotta check both yeah. these castles out. You won't regret it. After, we're going to visit the capital city of Berlin. Now today, Berlin is a thriving capital with a population of over 3.6 million people. It's an incredible city with a complicated history. Now Berlin was first documented in the 13th century. During World War II, it was the headquarters of Hitler's Third Reich and became the most heavily bombed city in history. After the war, Berlin was divided into the East and West Berlin. I didn't know that. At the end of the Cold War, East and West Berlin were finally reunited in 1990. So one of my favorite spots is the Radenberg Gate. It's this 18th century neoclassical monument that is Germany's national symbol of unity and peace. You can also check out the Berlin Wall Memorial to see remnants of the historical wall. After Berlin, we're gonna head over to Hamburg, located in northern Germany on the Elbe River. Hamburg is the second largest city in Germany after Berlin. Thanks to its access to the North Sea, Hamburg grew as the port city throughout the ages. Today it is Europe's third largest port. I just love all the canals that run through the city. Hamburg is home to 2,500 bridges. Making... See, when you think of canals and city, I think of Amsterdam, I think of Venice. I don't I don't ever think about Germany. That's, the city that's cool. With the highest number of bridges in Europe it reminds me of modern day Venice. A really impressive spot <laughs> in the city is the Spikerstadt. It's the largest warehouse district in the world. Now, another a beautiful spot in the city is the Alster Lakes. It's a set of two artificial lakes that are often full of sailboats during the summertime. Now, after Hamburg, we're going to head over to Frankfurt, located in West Central Germany. Frankfurt is one of Europe's major financial hubs, and it's home to the European Central Bank. It's full of beautiful skyscrapers, and it kind of reminds me of American cities. Aside from its skyscrapers and financial districts, Frankfurt is a beautiful historical town. One of the most popular places is Romerberg. It's a beautiful town square lined with colorful timber houses that will get your German vibes going. From Frankfurt, you can make the three-hour drive there we go. to the Black Back to what Forest. Beautiful and nature. located right in the border of France. The Black Forest is a giant region famous for its dense vegetation, picturesque villages, and it's often associated with the Brothers Grimm fairy tales. Whenever I think of Germany, I just think of a Black Forest with its cuckoo clocks and just beautiful German towns. I mean, I can't think of a better place to road trip and experience the beauty of southern Germany. It's just such a cool region. After, we're going to head to the beautiful town of Fussen. Now, located right at the foot of the Bavarian Alps, Fussen is a 700-year-old medieval city full of old world charm. Its streets are lined with cobblestones, and you feel like you're walking back in time as you explore it. I just love all the classical German houses, and I think it's so cool how the milky blue river lake runs right next to the That's town. Awesome. The crowning feature of Fussen is the high castle. I mean, it just adds so much character to the town. If you really want to go back in time, I mean, you just got to give Fussin a visit. Now, for our final destination, we're going to visit the iconic Neuschwanstein Castle. I have to say that it is the most beautiful castle in all Europe. It's what inspired Disney's Sleeping Beauty Castle. I mean, it's just the perfect We all knew this princess. was going to be on the list. Now, the castle is nestled at the very tip of southern Germany. Neuschwanstein Castle is placed perfectly in the mountains with a phenomenal 360 view. The Bavarian Alps and the town below. The construction of the castle began in 1869. During World War II, the SS debated blowing up the castle to prevent it from falling into the enemy's hands, but thankfully it never happened. Thankfully they did Today, not. The castle received over 1.4 million visitors a year, so it's definitely a tourist hot spot. I mean, I just can't get over the beauty of this castle. It's something straight out of a fairy tale. Well, that is it for my Germany top 10. And there's just so many beautiful places that I couldn't cover. So we'll have to do a part two. Let me know where your favorite place is. If you is do a part two, I'm on it. Comments below. I also started a relaxation channel where I post hour long films with comedy music to bring some peace and nature in your life. I did one on Germany you might like. You can find me on TikTok and Instagram at Shirley.Films. It's Ryan and we will see you later.
Well, once again, Mr. Ryan Shirley does not disappoint with his videos. I will tell you, I've said this, well, it feels like a hundred times. There's just something about the architecture and the, the preservation of, of I don't, I, how do I say it? Um, I feel like in Europe, with the old buildings, old cities, you know, seven, eight, hundred, nine here, villages and towns and cities, I feel like they built the buildings and the, the, the architecture around the beauty of the earth rather than just building giant skyscrapers. Now, I don't mean any disrespect to like Frankfurt and stuff when I talk about it, but that city didn't do much for me. Not as much as it did some of the earlier towns and villages that he was showing us. You know, I'm just, I'm not a big fan of like New York City, Chicago, LA, all that crap. That, that's all ugly to me. I know there's probably a lot of stuff to do, but that's not for me. You know, what I love is just how lush the grass and the lakes and the, the forests and everything look here in Germany. And and in Europe and New Zealand and, and on, you know, the places I've seen so far, they're just so beautiful, you know, and I just, even living here in the country, the, you know, the, the countryside of the U.S., I just don't see that a lot here, so I don't know if it's just my blindness to it, I, I don't know, but I will tell you that that was awesome, Germany is beautiful, I, I would like to visit Germany, obviously if I ever get a chance to go over to Europe, I'll just try to make like a big couple week vacation and just go to all these areas and just do the best I can. So thank you all so much for being here with me. I enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed it as well. If you did, consider leaving a like on the video. It helps me out tremendously. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It That is the biggest thing you can do for me. It helps me so, so much. It allows me to continue this journey and uh, it's free to you. So it doesn't cost you anything. So um, share this video with all your friends if you haven't already. And uh, thank you all so much for being here and we'll have a good one. We'll see you on the next one.